Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today at Ghadebiya Palace. His Royal Highness hailed the decisions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa with the President of, of Palestine, Mahmoud Abbas, the President of Sudan, Omar Hassan Al Bashir, and the President of the Philippines, Rodrigo Duterte. He noted the importance of the agreements, memorandums, and executive programs that were signed during the visits of the presidents and their positive impacts on expanding bilateral relations and cooperation in various fields. The cabinet expressed pride in the honoring of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister by countries and regional and international organizations in recognition of his role in the development field. In this regard, on behalf of the cabinet, Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on being awarded the honorary doctorate from Al Quds Open University, the QOU, with all rights and privileges in recognition of his humanitarian and development stances and in tribune for his advocacy of Arab and Islamic issues and unlimited support for the Palestinian people. He also congratulated His Royal Highness for his granddaughter, Sheikh Aisha bin Rashid Al Khalifa's addition to the series of accomplishments achieved by Bahraini women for being the first Bahraini woman to graduate from the Royal Military Academy, Sandhurst. His Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to all well-wishers, considering it an honor for the kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister then briefed the Cabinet on his meeting with the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Theresa May, where the Cabinet stressed the importance of such meeting to support bilateral relations and reinforce Bahrain-UK joint cooperation. His Royal Highness praised the success of the Formula One race and its positive effects on the sports and tourism sector, commending the role of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in preparing and carefully organizing the race, as well as attracting this global sporting event to demonstrate Bahrain's ability to organize and embrace such major international competitions. His Royal Highness directed to develop critical solutions that are administratively strict for all that affects services in health facilities and to ensure employee safety while practicing the profession in order to maintain a good level of medical services in the health centers and hospitals. The cabinet approved Bahrain signing an MOU between the ministries and bodies for empower, endowment and Islamic and religious affairs in the Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC countries in the fields of endowment. It also approved Bahrain's accession to five space-related agreements and treaties adopted by the General Assembly of the United Nations, including the Outer Space Treaty and the Agreement on the Rescue of Astronauts. 
The cabinet approved Bahrain's joining uh, the membership of the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank and signed the Ministry of Finance to coordinate with the relevant ministries and authorities to take the necessary measures cabinet approves. The, the meeting discussed an executive program between the Supreme Council for the Environment and the relevant authorities in the United States of America and referred it to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs. The cabinet approved the signing of three MOUs between the Bahraini and Thai governments, the first on youth and sports cooperation, the second on educational cooperation, and the third on a MOU between the University of Bahrain and the Prince of Songkhla University. The cabinet referred to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs, the report of the National Committee on the Prohibition of the Use, Production and Stockpiling of Chemical Weapons and their Destruction. The report concerns the follow-up of Bahrain's obligations towards weapons of mass destruction conventions and treaties. The cabinet approved a MOU between the Kingdom and the Republic of Egypt on the cooperation in the fields of electricity and renewable energy. The cabinet followed up on the underway development project to provide an infrastructure with high quality standards and which ensures a security sustain sustainable economic growth and which meets the current and future needs of Bahrain in the roads, buildings and sewage sector. The cabinet also approved a MOU between the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and the Malaysian SIRIM Cus International Company. The cabinet referred to the Council of Representatives uh, two draft laws accompanied by a memorandum of opinion from the government, the first on health insurance for retired citizens and the second on health insurance. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Honorary President of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation and founder of Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa Mixed Martial Arts Organization, the KHK MMA, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today the Ambassador of India to Bahrain, Alok Kumar Singha, in the presence of the Chief Executive Officer of KHK MMA, Mohammed Shahid. His Highness Sheikh Khalid welcomed the Indian Ambassador and reviewed the Bahraini Indian relations and ways to enhance them to serve the interests of both countries and their people. He added that both countries have been keen to continue developing cooperation in various fields. His Highness hailed the deep-rooted historic relations between Bahrain and India based on mutual respect, cooperation and joint coordination in various fields. His Highness discussed with the Indian Ambassador methods of enhancing bilateral relations in the sports field, especially in the MMA sport, hailing the development of Indian MMA. He added that choosing India as the host of Brave Championship is due to its success in the sport, aspiring that the championship's fifth edition would achieve more success. For his part, the ambassador commended the efforts of Sheikh Khalid in the sports sector, affirming India's keenness to enhance cooperation with Bahrain. He also added that India welcomes hosting the Brave Championship. The Ministerial Committee for the follow-up of the execution of the Gulf Cooperation Council's joint work held its 17th meeting, chaired by the Minister of Parliament Affairs, Ghanem bin Fadl al Buainin, with the participation of the Secretary-General of the GCC, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid al-Zayani. al Buainin delivered a speech in which he stated that the formation of the committee, which came upon the vision of their Majesties and Highnesses, the leaders of the GCC countries, reflects their determination to enhance interdependence, integration and joint action. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the members of the committee for their efforts exerted to ensure the success of its work. al Buainin hailed the efforts of the GCC Secretary-General and all the members of the Secretariat-General for their effective role in the work of the committee. The GCC Secretary-General then delivered a speech in which he commended the continuous efforts of the committee members to achieve the goals of the GCC, expressing hope to urge the concerned parties to issue legislative tools that implement the remaining decisions of the Supreme Council. So... Under the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Ministry of Housing continued distributing the units of Demistan Project for beneficiaries under the plan to distribute 4,200 housing units. The Ministry's Assistant Undersecretary for Housing Policies and Services, Dr. Khaled Al Haidan, affirmed that the Demistan Project is underway without any delays and affirmed the Ministry's keenness to complete the distribution process by next Wednesday. 
He pointed out that the project is one of the main projects implemented by the ministry under the goal to build 25,000 units and added that the project has a significant location and building models that match the aspirations and the needs of Bahraini families. Very good evening. You're watching the business and news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,346.49 points, marking an increase of 1.79 points above last closing. The increase was in the commercial banks and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the services sector with 51% of total shares. 75 transactions included 2,532,421 shares worth 841,150 Bahraini dinars. Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry jointly with China Council for the Promotion of International Trade are organizing B2B meetings to connect business owners from Bahrain with their counterparts from China and stimulate investment and partnership. It will cover a number of sectors including ICT, energy, machinery, finance and trade and construction. The event will witness the signing of a memorandum of cooperation on April 27th between both sides of the Bahraini-Chinese Joint Business Council. <laughs> 